Police in Sweden combed through this refugee centre in the western town of Mondal, now the scene of a murder. Investigators say a 15-year-old migrant stabbed and killed a female worker here on Monday. Hour, the deadly truck attack in Sweden with all the hallmarks of terrorism, the attacker using a vehicle as a weapon. Sweden has finally given up on its progressive immigration model. The number of immigrants in Sweden is lower than it has been for a long time. 50 years to be exact. Statistics Sweden, the government's official statistics agency, had found that 5,700 more people had emigrated than immigrated in the period from January to May 2024. The trend was expected to continue, adding that the number of asylum applications had not been as low since 1997. The country's moderate-led government, which is supported by the far-right Sweden Democrats, has pursued an increasingly restrictive asylum policies, including plans for a snitch law that would legally require public sector workers to report undocumented people. Sweden has never experienced anything like this. No country in Europe has experienced anything like this. Stockholm is less than a million. If the projection continues within one generation, it is very likely that this city will almost be half Muslim. I don't think the Swedish society is very open for immigrants. I think there's a lot of xenophobia. But in Sweden, if you commit a murder and if you're 16, you can get maximum four years in youth custody where you can have access to an iPad. Opposition voices, including in Parliament, have also gotten a lot quieter because there was a level of acceptance for this change. Aid organizations that specialize in helping asylum seekers and members of immigrant communities are claiming the government's anti-immigration policies and rhetoric was to blame, actively encouraging people to leave the country or to seek asylum elsewhere. Part of what has turned the tide of immigration can be attributed to the prospect of tightening restrictions, including visas, citizenship, as well as bringing relatives to the country. Some believe this is what has made Sweden unappealing, particularly among people from countries including Somalia, Iraq, and Syria. So far, however, the stats are showing that the negative migration numbers have yet to be felt in the change in levels of organized crime, which the country is dead set on eliminating. The discussion around Sweden's migration policies has intensified in recent years, particularly in light of rising gang violence in several cities. Tonight, shoppers in disbelief, then panic as this truck barrels through a packed street in Stockholm's busiest shopping district. Police scouring videos, including this one, searching for clues. It shows the truck mowing down pedestrians, then crashing into this department store, thick black smoke billowing out. At least four are dead, more than a dozen injured, nine of them critical. At this hour, a nationwide manhunt is underway for those responsible for the attack. Police are reporting one arrest has been made here 20 miles away from the crime scene. A man who matches these photos on an escalator wearing a hoodie and black pants. Sweden's prime minister with reporters here saying Sweden has been attacked. Everything indicates this is a terrorist act. Last year, Sweden recorded 348 shootings, resulting in 52 deaths, and the number of explosions rose from 90 to 149. The country does have a plan for that. In a controversial move to curb net migration, the Swedish government is considering a unique initiative that would offer incentives for foreign-born Swedish passport holders to leave. This proposal would extend to the current voluntary exit plan, which offers 10,000 Swedish crowns, which is approximately $960, plus travel costs to refugees who plan on leaving the country. Sweden has long prided itself on being the European model for open borders and open hearts. It's clear to see now that the progressive agenda here has dismally failed, and this could change the game all across the Western world. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so.